Look, I understand what you're saying, sir, but I I'm telling you, I don't have a thousand dollars. Don't argue with me. I'm here to tell you what to do, not the other way around. And this is ridiculous. Well, you just talked yourself into a $1,500 fine. No, 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 no. You, you, you can't do this. Yes, I can. Make it 2000 No. You want to go for more? I do have a few minutes left. No, 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 no sir. Fine to set at $2,000. You may go now. Mr. Jones, you were caught last month running a red light? Yes, owner, but I had a- Is this you and your car running red? Yes, but I had a good reason. You see, my wife was giving birth and I had to go to the hospital. Hmm, I have a hard time buying that seeing that it's only you in the car and no wife. I was coming from work and she was already at the hospital. Please, your owner, I've never gotten a ticket in my life. I'm a good driver. I'm not so sure. You see, if you were a good driver, you wouldn't be running red lights. Therefore, you have to pay the maximum fine of $500. $500? I, I, your Honor, I don't have $500. I need to save money to feed my new family. Well, if I had a nickel for every sob story like yours, then I'd be retired a rich man now. You see, as far as I'm concerned, you're lying trying to get out of a ticket, and I'm not buying it. But, Your Honor, uh, I'm, I'm telling you the truth, and I'm... Hmm. I have a reservation I can't be late to. So, you're just gonna have to come back first thing Thursday morning and we'll pick up where we left off. Thursday, your owner, I have walked that day. Look, if you talk back to me one more time, then I won't allow you the option of traffic school. Now, you know what that means, don't you? Your insurance will go way up. Now, do you want that? That's what I thought. This case is continued. All righty, folks, sorry for the wait. Thank you. You guys, salads, enjoy. No, just a second, young man. Do you see anything wrong with this? What do you mean? Charles, please. Look, I specifically ordered extra dressing. Now, do this look like extra dressing to you? Um, well, I do believe the kitchen put in more than usual, sir. A little more. Well, we're paying customers. Can't you just get it right? I'm terribly sorry, sir. You, you know what? I was gonna give you a 20% tip. Now you're down to 10. That's perfectly okay, sir. I, I didn't mean to uh, upset you. Make it five. Now you wanna continue on to lose more, or do you wanna get my extra dresser? Right away, sir. What? People need to learn from their consequences. I had to do it. No, you did not. He is a young man. He probably just started working here last week. Look, no excuses. If he can't follow simple instructions, then he deserves to be punished. Why can't you give people more compassion? Like the man at the courthouse? It sounded like he didn't have a lot of money. Wasn't there something you could do to give him a break? I didn't get where I am today by being soft, Tanya. <laughs> I'm not asking you to be soft. I'm saying people make mistakes. And forgiveness goes a long way. No. People need to be punished. Then they learn from their mistakes. Anyway, wasn't there something you wanted to tell me? No. No, go on. No, it's not important. Would you just say it? Okay, fine. <laughs> I had to park in a handicapped space today, but I left my placard at home. And I got a parking ticket. Come on, now how could you make this mistake? Don't you dare get mad at me. I was in and out of that store like that, and I didn't really think it would matter. Didn't think it would matter. Tanya, of course it matters. That is the law. Okay, then you can come to court with me and help me fight it, because I have never had a ticket in my life. Well, you got this in Thousand Oaks. That's Ventura County. Look, I don't know a lot of people down there. I don't have time to be going to court, especially with that. That's an embarrassment. Oh, you are certainly coming with me. Okay. And just let me know if you guys need anything else. 
Oh, whoa, whoa, what is this? Amateur hour? Look, you just brought me the dressing. Now you're bringing the entrees, but I haven't had time to even eat my salad. Charles, let it go. We're fine, thank you so much. Now you're not even getting any tip. <sighs> Kids, bro. I need to go back to training. Look, I might as well do it myself. The thing is, Your Honor, I do have a placard. I just left it at home. All right, let's see it. Oh, uh, uh, well, I had to park outside in the handicapped spot, so I had to leave it inside the car. Do you have a picture? Not the second. I mean, if you just gave me a moment, I'm sure that my, my husband could get that for you. Uh, may I, Your Honor? I'm not only her husband, I am also a judge in L.A. County. Charles Cook. Maybe you've heard of me. I have not. Oh, okay. Well, we're both law-abiding citizens. And I was thinking maybe you can let her off just this once because she has a clean record. Mr. Cook, just because you're a judge doesn't mean you and your wife are above the law. Now, I order you to pay a fine of $400. $400? The minimum fine is $250. Now, that's unreasonable. Hmm. All right, well, in that case, I'll make it $500, the maximum fine. And I'm sure you can afford that on your salary, Judge Cook. It's not about that. This is about principle. She has a placard. $500. This court is adjourned. I'm sorry, honey. I know. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Thank you. <clears throat> Still can't believe that judge. I mean, a maximum fine, that's just going too far. Well, yes, but if you were the judge, you would have done the same thing. Not a chance. We're law-abiding citizens. Not those rule breakers that I deal with. <gasps> <gasps> Were you not paying attention? Clearly, I was distracted. Oh, my goodness. You, you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Oh, no. Did someone get hurt? Oh, no. Not good. Oh, no. Are you okay? Oh, my gosh. Uh, Ma'am, look, look. I'm terribly sorry. It was a small mistake, but everything is going to be... Is she all right? Great, she's probably going to call the cops and sue. Shh. We are so sorry about this. Are either one of you hurt? Um, I... I, I don't know. I, I, think I'm, I think I'm still in shock. I need to call my husband. Hi, honey. Um, we just got hit by a car. Yeah, no, um, we're, we're still in the parking lot. Okay, I love you, bye. He works as a janitor here, he's on his way out now. Okay, I'll get the insurance information. Don't stress. Yeah, but you understand, her husband's a janitor. He's probably gonna look at this like a meal ticket, wanna claim medical damages, distress. Do you have any idea how much this is gonna cost us? I mean, our insurance is just gonna go through the roof. Not to mention if he leaks this to the press. I mean, there's so much going on with this social media and this cancel culture and all of that. Charles! Let's just take this one step at a time, all right? Ha! Calm. <gasps> okay, look, G, uh... You. Hello, Judge. So, so this is your wife and, and your... Daughter. I'm sorry, do you two know each other? Now he's going to want more demands. Um, listen, well, I, I'm terribly sorry about all of this, but you're probably going to want to call the cops. And... Now, um, 
That's okay. The important part is n o w i s heart. Thank goodness. <laughs> wow, well, 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 thanks. Is there a chance that we can get this resolved without involving our insurance companies? Look, I'll pay for all your repairs, and you probably want to claim medical expenses. No, uh, that's fine. Honestly, we don't need any money. The car is so old, and the dent is hardly noticeable. And as I said, good thing is no one was hurt. So, you're. You're not gonna try to make me pay for any of this? I mean, especially the way that I treated you. So you see, my initial decision was to give you the maximum penalty. But I've learned something recently. We all make mistakes. And a little kindness goes a long way. That's why, Mr. Jones, I decided to give you a fine of zero dollars. This case is dismissed. And you take care of yourself, you hear me? Thanks so much, Your Honor. Thank you. Thanks so much. He should be thanking you. He's a changed man with everything that's happened. This is for your daughter. Congratulations again. Wow, that's so thoughtful. My wife is going to be so happy. Good. Take care. I like that little speech up there. Where should we go eat? Let's go back to that same restaurant from the other day. I owe that waiter a tip. Mm. <laughs>